Hey everybody, uh, it's one of those days <laughs> I'm just going to be beset by technical glitches. Uh, welcome to Casual Coffee with Ken. I hope you're having a good Friday. We made it. <coughs> it's the end of the week finally, and that's always a good thing. So glad that you're here joining me on your Friday. I hope everything is going well for you this week, and uh, I'm just glad it's over, and I'm really looking forward to the next two days where I plan on doing really not a lot but sleeping. I'm just so tired <laughs> this week. So tired. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I know I've said that three times in a row now, but it's true. I really do hope you're doing good. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been a week. Uh, glad it's over. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have been doing to occupy yourselves during the quarantine. Um, yeah, because I'm always interested in learning more about my audience. Uh, and speaking of which, if this is your first time here, it is a live live stream, obviously. And you can comment, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, I think even on Twitch. And uh, just recently, I started broadcasting this week to Periscope over on Twitter. So if you are new here, it's your first time commenting, please let me know where in the world you are watching from, because it's always fun for me to know who's watching. <laughs> it's it's That's the appeal of doing this for me, rather than just recording videos. Uh, I love the interaction with you, and I, I just love the idea that I am meeting people from literally all over the world because of the internet, which I think is something that we take for granted a lot, and I, I really appreciate how connected we can all be, especially in times like this. I think it's more important than ever when you you just uh, you cannot physically connect with people. Um, it's it's so much more important now to be able to do this kind of thing. So I, that's one of the reasons I love it. Yeah. So. Um, all joking aside, I you know I'm going to do more than just sleep. Excuse me. This weekend, but I am going to do a lot of that. I think. Although I've heard it said you can never really catch up on sleep. That's kind of a an urban legend. You can't really do it because. <laughs> Loss of sleep has cumulative effects that don't go away just in a weekend, but, you know, I'm going to do my best anyway. So, uh, this uh, Friday show, I'm going to have a couple of, of uh, topical stories at the beginning today, but most of it is just going to be strange, uh, interesting, and funny things that I have found on the internet. Uh, that I wanted to share with you just to send you off into the weekend on a, uh, a more happy uh, more happy note. So, yeah. Sorry for the inconsistency this week. I know I've been bad about that. Probably don't know what's going on with me <laughs> as far as my energy levels. Not sick. I don't have a cold. I'm uh, not... Uh, Yeah, I don't have a cold, don't have a fever, and just tired all the time. Um, I'm going to stop saying um right about now. So let's go ahead and start with my usual segment, which is my tea of the day. Uh, my wife and I, Karina, love teas, uh, loose leaf teas, and there's a particular site that we love more than any other at the moment, and it's David's Tea davidstea.com, and today, and I've, I've mentioned this before, but if you're new here, that means you probably haven't seen this before, and it is uh, my favorite tea uh, from David's, and that's Gingerbread Blondie. Uh, right now, though, because Gingerbread Blondie is uh, it's seasonal, and they have just about run out of their stock, so the only way you can get it is in these... Uh, not collectible, but uh, seasonal tins that look like gingerbread men. And it's great. 
um, but that means that they're pretty much running low. So I'm going to order a couple so I can stock up a little bit. Don't worry, I'm not going to be a hoarder. I'm not going to order 20 of them or anything ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, if you're at all interested, I would say you would want to check them out sooner rather than later, as uh, this indicates to me that they're probably just about at the end of their stock of the gingerbread blondie, and it is just the most amazing tasting thing. Uh, really is. Just brewing some, as you can see, tea bag, and uh, I'm not going to show it today because I didn't uh, didn't think this through ahead of time. But there are some tea bags that you can buy. They're just empty, and you can stuff whatever tea you want in them, and so it really comes in handy. Usually, we use the strainers uh, from OXO, which are great, and uh... Good morning, Ken. Thanks for the tip. I love tea as does my son. Yes, tea is wonderful, and <laughs> we do kind of hoard certain teas. Well, you know, we, we love what we love, um, but yeah, it's... Loose leaf tea, usually we just use the, the tea steepers, you know, the strainers. Uh, and Oxo makes some really good ones, and I'll show those another time too. But sometimes you don't want to deal with the hassle of having to rinse out and clean and wash the, the strainers. So you can buy tea bags that you just stuff whatever tea you want inside of them, and so it's not clean up afterwards. And it's a little more convenient that way. But I will, I'll try to make myself a note to, uh, to share more about that with you next week. But uh, this is such a beautiful tea. I mean, look how golden colored it is. It's, it's just gorgeous looking. And it really does smell like ginger and honey. It's really good. Uh, it lists on the ingredients, they've got apple, ginger, pineapple, uh, mango, candied ginger, um, cocoa butter, uh, sugar sprinkles. I, I'll just, let me go back to sharing the screen just so you can see and get a, uh, let's see if we can zoom in. It doesn't really give you a good, uh, when they still had it in the not tins, they had a much better picture on here, but it's just delicious. Take my word for it. If you like tea, if you like ginger, you're going to like this. Mmm. Really is fantastic. Okay. Well, Don, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you're if I, as I recall from the other day, your Wi-Fi was going in and out a lot, so I hope that's working a little bit better for you today. Mm. Oh, that's good. So, first story, uh, which I found particularly amusing. Uh, everybody is video conferencing now for, for those people who are fortunate enough to have a job where they are working remotely. Uh, everyone is video conferencing now, but uh, not everyone is used to doing that on a regular basis. And so some interesting things can happen when uh, when you're not not used to doing it regularly. There are filters sometimes people forget about. And that happened uh, to this one manager. And the results were, were fun and interesting. Good morning, Sean. Glad to see you made it. So, uh, so yeah, this, this lady uh, turned herself into a potato during her video conference. So she's a department head in a nonprofit focused on equal rights and justice called People for the American Way. Um, one of her employees posted on Twitter that his boss had turned herself into a potato on their Microsoft Teams meeting. 
and was stuck like that the entire meeting because she could not figure out how to turn the filter off. She's a potato. I mean, you know, as potatoes go, I guess not a bad looking potato. But uh, yeah, she had a good sense of humor about the whole thing. She just, uh, she had downloaded the filter to use, you know, during a happy hour on Friday night and couldn't figure out how to turn it off in time for the meeting on Monday. <laughs> and she, she told Time Magazine in the, this article here, quote, I did not get what was happening. I was like, why am I a potato out of all the things? So... Part of the reason she left the potato on is she could not take it off. You know, so there you go. If you're having a, a bad day, maybe reflect on the fact that you're not a potato. And uh, maybe your day will look a little better then. There are so many worse filters I could think of that she could have been stuck with. A uh, potato, it's pretty uh, mild <laughs> considering. So, you know, there's that. You gotta love technology. Technology is wonderful. And uh, on uh, a story now that uh, is encouraging, I know that this particular public figure gets a lot of criticism for some of the things that he did while he was governor, but this particular act is noteworthy. It's the right thing to do, and it's encouraging that he is doing it. So I want to give a shout out to Arnold Schwarzenegger, who personally delivered 50,000 masks to doctors. Wow. In this story from FM 104, uh, he has been visiting hospitals in L.A. all week long, where he has personally delivered a cargo of 50,000 masks to doctors in an effort to support the Frontline Responders Fund. In addition to delivering the masks, he has donated a million dollars to the GoFundMe campaign to help raise even more equipment. The cause has raised $5 million to date and has also been backed by people like Jack Dorsey of Twitter and Hollywood actors, including Edward Norton. So, I mean... It's fantastic. It's much needed. Uh, say what you want about some of the things that he did while he was governor of the state of California at a time when uh, it's important that people who have the ability to step up and make a, a difference for people do so, he's doing it. And I've got to give him credit for that. I mean, now more than ever, we have to we have to be united. Go Arnold, yeah, exactly. And uh, and yeah, I, I am you know I, I am so happy to give credit to everybody who is who's chipping in and trying their best in whatever way they can uh, to to make things better, especially for our health care health care workers on the front lines because they deserve every break that, that we can give them, so. Okay, so now we get into just the silly stuff. This is the silly stuff for Friday to send you into your weekend and hopefully a better, uh, a better mood. Uh, this first picture is an example of uh, some strange design choices. Uh, I don't know what the thought process was behind this. Maybe they just thought they, they should just keep going with it until they reached the end. I don't, uh, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with these stairs. I am not sure I'm not sure <laughs> I mean okay they're perfectly nice looking stairs 
just not terribly useful after a certain point. So, uh, yeah. You know, there you go. Someone drew up blueprints at some point that included those stairs that go nowhere eventually. I'm sure they're perfectly usable up until that point, but uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, your stairs, do what you like. Okay, and this next, this next one here, this just looks cool. It's not particularly funny. It's, uh, it's just amazing looking. Sean's all, is this the Winchester house? No, but maybe this person was inspired by the Winchester house. Could be. And Don uh, is not a fan of Governor Newsom, wishes that Arnold was still the governor there. I don't know much about Governor Newsom um, other than when he was younger, he reminded me a lot of the lead singer from Bush. Gavin Rossdale, is that his name, I think? I, I would look at the two of them side by side. And uh, and yeah, back when, when Gavin Newsom was younger, he reminded me a lot of the lead singer of the alternative rock band Bush. And good morning, Trisha. I'm sorry your internet is going up and down, so I understand completely if you have to disappear. No worries. Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. So yeah, this uh, this next little video clip here is just fun. It's fun to watch, and uh, I think you'll like it. It's just relaxing. It's a moment of zen for you to steal John Stewart's uh, saying there. Here we go. So it just looks neat. <laughs> I have no idea how this works. I'll let it play through again. He, he's just spinning those fiber optic rods. I don't even know if they're fiber optic LEDs. I don't know, but it's it's amazing. I've just I was blown away. This is something that uh, I would have said was only possible inside some sort of computer program for CGI special effects, but that uh, just crazy cool. I thought so. I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and that was, uh, I'm not going to say the user's, the Reddit user's name, because uh, it's a little blue, but it was posted, uh, well, okay, the, the poster's name, I can say his name, or her name, this person's name in Reddit, is uh, G-U-L-A-S-C-H-G-E-L. -E yeah, I can't even pronounce it. Anyway, I wanted to give credit, though because uh, it was posted under the Reddit Insane Technology. And, yeah, I, th I thought that was fun. Hello from Oregon. That was pretty neat. Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. Welcome. I haven't seen you chime in before, so but thanks for, for joining in. I appreciate it. Okay, so the next one... Um, this is just a fun accident uh, of nature that was caught on video. And uh, yeah, it's particularly, uh, well, you'll see. I'm just going to shut up and show it to you. <laughs> so... You've got the reflection here. You have the sky up here. Is 
Isn't that insane? So the reflection in the puddle is now on the top of the image. And I, I can't even, it's just amazing looking. <laughs> I mean, that's something I can, I could just watch all day. It is so satisfying, absolutely satisfying. And, uh, and it was actually posted uh, by Bird Plan, user Bird Plan on Reddit, uh, in a thread called Oddly Satisfying. So you should check that out. It's lots of fun. Lots of fun stuff like that on there. <laughs> okay. Um, this person, I mean, we all have time on our hands, obviously, now, more than ever. But this this guy, or gir girl, um, whoever, this person did something exceptionally uh, interesting with the time they had on their hands. If I can get, I gotta get the video to load again for you. Sorry. Do, 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 do. Like I said, this is gonna be one of those days with technical difficulties for Ken. Okay, here we go. This is fun. You're gonna like this. It's very involved. They did a good job. Come on, you can do the thing. It doesn't, uh... oh, good morning, Dina. Nice to see you. Okay, it doesn't like it when I try to zoom in, so I'm just gonna play it this way. Look at it go. <clears throat> I'll replay that again just so you can see it from the beginning. Aw. Boy, I am so sorry. I am just not having any luck today. Let me try reloading the page. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's move on then. This will work, I'm pretty sure. Um, it looks like balloons. That's not balloons. That is painting on a wall. You would think it was mylar balloons tacked onto a wall, but as you can plainly see here, it's not. It's a spray painting. I, I am just in complete awe of this artist's skills because wow. Looks all the world to me like Mylar balloons, but no, it's spray paint. I, yeah, it is absolutely amazing. I, and I can watch him do this and I still don't get how he does it. You just watch this come together and again, I, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. I am in awe of my wife's talent uh, as an artist and, and people who are talented in this way just have my never ending respect because that is just next level.
So yeah, I just thought that that was too too good. <laughs> uh, Dina likes Karina's sandwich bags. Um, at one of my previous jobs, she would draw me a uh, art on the bags that my sandwiches were in. Uh, every Friday, she'd do it once a week, and and I'd post them on Instagram, and people really liked those, and they were good. They were fun. I liked them. But thank you. Uh, I think even she would agree that um, that uh, what we just saw is excellent. Is just next level stuff. Okay, and this would fall under the uh, this would fall under the realm of world's worst magic trick I guess Sorry, just getting it set up here for you. That's so sweet of her. Thank you. I mean, she's, yeah, she is wonderful to me. Love her so much. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see if this will work now. This is funny. <laughs> so yeah, the audio isn't important on here, but uh, yeah, this is a magic trick that his brother probably wishes hadn't happened. Yeah, so... Uh, Maybe the law of unintended consequences. Apparently, um, the the uh, the brother is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, I but yeah. Can you imagine the conversation that uh, they ended up having with the parents? Probably, uh, probably not fun. Uh, actually, if you look at the comments, it's fake, which is good. Some of the comments are interesting, for sure. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I, oh, okay, this one I think you guys will really appreciate if you are at all fans of, let's see if it'll work here. No, not that one. Where is it? I'm sorry, I'm having the worst day. Okay, <laughs> here we go. And this is uh, another one that I found, I think, under the Reddit thread, Oddly Satisfying. And it's pretty simple. It's just this guy, these guys, spreading tar on a driveway. It just looks effortless and so amazingly uniform and perfect. And it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's one of those things uh, you could set it on a loop and just watch it over and over and over again. It's just fun stuff. I love it. I love that kind of thing. 
I, if you've watched the show at all, you probably uh, know that I'm a big fan of Optical Illusions, uh, which is one of the reasons why I love that balloon art so much. And uh, the strange light projections that I did earlier today. But yeah, anyway, I, I thought that was some fun stuff to just kind of get you in a more positive frame of mind um, before you started your weekend, because I know it's been a stressful week for everybody. And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to do something to help hopefully lighten everything up for you. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all. Uh, we've already gone a half an hour. I can't believe how quickly this half hour goes by. But I really appreciate each and every one of you who stopped by this morning to say hi. Thank you so much. And uh, I will see you all back here on Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, if you liked the show, if you had fun today, do me a favor, tell your friends about the show after the live broadcast is done. It stays up as a video that you can copy the link to and share out to your friends and just tell them about the guy in Reno who's trying to, to spread a little more positivity uh, during the week uh, because I think we all need that right now. So, But thank you again. Uh, Sean, you were very welcome for the coffee. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you to uh, Syria de Flora for joining in from Oregon. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you, Dawn. I appreciate you being here today. I hope you have a great weekend. Dina, thank you, everybody. Trisha, if you're still with us and your internet didn't uh, clunk out on you. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. And uh, until next time, I'm Ken McKim. And remember, when you can choose to be anything in life, choose to be kind, because kindness matters. Take care, everybody.